Satchidan said, it's a simple sermon. And he's correct. It's a simple sermon. But our presence here today signifies what you elect a government to do. And that is, you elect a government to ensure that we work every day possibly in our lives to help you and to help fix your issues and to help resolve your issues. But ultimately, the ulterior objective is to make your life better. We met with you and there were some commitments that were made to ensure that we can close this chapter and that is to be able to reach to the stage of issuing titles for you here in Zealot, both phase one and phase two. And so I allow AG will deal with the legal aspect, but I want to make a very important point. In order for us to fast track and be able to address this outstanding matter, there were a number of collaborations that had to take place. And that is one thing you can be rest assured with this PVPC government. We are one government. And so likewise, agencies that are involved, in your case, you have the deed registry, you have the Ministry of Housing and Water, it's true CHPA proper. Sure. You have the, well, the, main, the main custodians actually the sugar industry labor welfare. It was a collaborative effort. And it shows you, once we can put our best foot forward, how quickly we can get matters addressed. And so, <clears> through <throat> CHPA, there were a number of things that were done. So I'm, I'm spending time to just recognize their contribution. Because while historically you would have paid already advance money to the welfare fund, there's another activity that had to take place, a major activity, and that is the surveying aspect. And so CHPA, you can say basically if contribute in kind, because we have surveyors as part of our departmental work. So they provided the necessary support so for us to prepare what is called the block and then do the subdivision. After that, we then had to convert all of that into what is called transport plans. And then following that, you have to go through a process of recording this. I'm telling you this because, not for you here, but for our listeners, because sometimes I think persons believe some of these outstanding land matters can be addressed by just clicking a finger. But there are processes involved in when you want to ensure that we can reach to that final stage where in terms of ownership. And so the plans were then submitted to the welfare fund and hence they processed the titles. So you have today about 64 proud persons who can finally say that they've reached the end in terms of being able to have that document to signal their final ownership. And of course, once you have a title, there are a lot of things you can go on to utilize it for in terms of whether it's a mortgage, whether for other purposes. But certainly I'm happy to be joining the AG again um, because the AG called me early in the week and he said we came here we had an engagement I think it's only fitting that you can join me today meaning him AG to be here this afternoon and so I'm glad to be amongst you and to also see hopefully that smile on your face that you have reached to this point and certainly we also want to acknowledge your patience because it's years we're speaking about um, your indulgence and likewise other areas across our country including region three because within the last few weeks and again on tuesday we have been i've been paying some direct attention to region three because region three has 
a number of small clusters or areas for which one, we have to address the irregular occupancy and two, to ensure that we're able to do like what we're doing today, to be able to move it to an advance it to a stage so that you can get that final ownership document once we are satisfied that you can remain where you are. And so Region 3 can look forward to much more engagement um, from the ministry, from the ministers and through CHPA. We will also be back in Region 3 sometime in September because through the intervention of His Excellency the President, we have been able to acquire some additional lands for whom Gaisuka have indicated that is not part of their, uh, their development process. So they were able to, to transfer those lands and we're going through the legal processes to transfer to CHP. But the bottom line is, we will be able to satisfy the outstanding pending applicants in region number three. And so there will be an exercise, another exercise, sometime in September for allocation exercise, dream realize allocation exercise for a number of pending applicants in region three. So in essence, this region can realize its full potential. And there are a number of opportunities, obviously, that will arise. Now, once persons are able to acquire land, to be able to construct, there are huge opportunities in the housing sector for employment. And so in this, we can reduce the amount of persons that are traversing and traveling the bridge across the bridge or across on the speedboat every day so that you can get the employment right within this region. All right. So thank you so much for waiting. Thank you very much for understanding. Um, and you will realize that this government, what we commit, we will deliver on it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, respected elders and those of you who are gathered here. First of all, let me see how happy I am to be here with you this afternoon and to be part of what was described as a simple but a significant ceremony this afternoon. Now, sometimes we forget our immediate history. I'm not even going back. Immediate history. And we lose patience and we lose focus because we forget our immediate history. And we become impatient when promises are made and they are not delivered. And sometimes it is justifiable and sometimes it is not. So take this issue that we are dealing with. Now, just backpedal in your mind a short 15 years ago, 2009, here where we are standing, this entire locality was cow pasture, abandoned lands. That's 15 years ago. And today, look, look at what has happened in this cow pasture that used to be a cow pasture. And what becomes evident is that we had to work from ground zero. Ground zero from cow pasture. And bring it to where it is. And today, and we are five years out of government. So this come five years from that. And today we are here with over 60 titles to deliver to 60 families, certifying them to be owners of the home that they are occupying. 
These titles establish beyond any legal doubt that you own the land and buildings upon those lands to which those titles relate. You can now, for the first time in your life, go to a bank and take that document and secure financing to build your house, expand your house, or to do so many different things in life. For the first time in your life, you can, by that document, conduct a proper and legal sale, if you wish, for the property to which that title relates. Now, for the first time in your life, you can make a will so that your children and your beneficiaries can become the owner of the land and building to which that title relates. For the first time in your life, you can add the name of any person you wish to that title to make them the owner of the land and the building to which that title relates. That is what is called empowerment. We know that there are difficulties. We know, for example, the cost of living issues. We know that. We live in this country. We are not oblivious to it. But you must also know of the measures that we have implemented all the cash grants that we are giving, the We Care Cash Grant, Cash Grant for Farmers, Cash Grant for Fishermen, Cash Grant for Hinterland People, COVID Cash Grant, Bonus for the Armed Forces, all of that are intended to assist with the cost of living. So it's not that we are not doing anything. But you also have to understand that the world is reeling from this phenomenon. These things are not happening in Guyana. They don't originate in Guyana. The largest producer of fuel and food, brains, Russia and Ukraine are at war that has serious implications for the prices of goods. But what you can take, what you can be assured of, is that you have a government that is working every day to protect you as far as possible from the repercussions of these global phenomena and working every day to ensure that you have a better quality life and we are building a better future for your children and our children. And that is what is important. We know that. And that is why we have to continue to spend time in your communities one by one to ensure that the real things that affect you are kept at a minimum or completely removed. We are a government whose focus is intense in that regard. And we want to assure you of that. So, these titles here is one step of many that will come. 60 or more titles may appear insignificant. Over 250 lives are positively affected. You now have something that you can transmit and transfer to generations to come. So I want to echo 
Minister Crowell's sentiments regarding the patience which you have exercised and it took a long time but anything that relates to land is a tedious process anything there is and that is why we always have and perhaps we'll have for a very very long time a backlog in the house lot program and housing program as hard as Colin Crowell is working and his competent staff they're working 24 hours a day sometimes weekends but every corner of the country you go you meet somebody who got a house that application pending since 2009 since 2010 and they're not getting through not only because the system by the very nature is a slow one because as i said we are beginning most time from ground zero we are taking a cane field and mow it down and grade it down and fill up all the trench then demarcate road and then dig gutter and then survey and then plot out lot by lot and then bring in gwi water then ensure that G gpl come and run the lines then go to the start to process the individual title get you to sign agreement of sale First of all, allocate to you, then get you to sign agreement to sale. Then the process of the title. It's a long and arduous task. Not easy. But we are putting our shoulders to the wheel every day. And the last point I want to make. You will note that, as Colin said, various agencies of the government collaborated in making this possible. Housing, legal affairs, sugar welfare fund, the land registry. And the bulk of the expenses in relation to the issuance of these titles were borne by the state, not you. You are getting these titles after paying a nominal fee. If you are to pay the true cost of these titles, you, each of you would have paid several hundred thousand dollars. The government absolved that cost and that is what we are doing wherever we do this program. And in the end, you are getting a title. So, I want to apologize for the length of time that it took us to reach this place, reach this stage, but we are here now and I want to thank you for your patience. And lastly, I want to congratulate all of the beneficiaries who will receive titles today. Thank you very much. All right, uh, my name is Ricardo Charles Elgak. Um, presently living in uh, Zillot uh, phase two. Um, first, first of all, I'm here living here for the last eight years. Um, and uh, it, this process was not an easy one to go through. Um, I've been in here before the roads start uh, building it here, um, before water was here, was in here. Um, <clears throat> for, so I wanna say a special thanks to the Sugar Industry Labor, Labor Welfare Fund. And I also want to thank the government of Guyana uh, for making this um, event possible. Um, like I said, it, it was not an easy one, but today I'm proud beneficiary of um, my, my land title. And so once again, I want to say thanks to the government and thanks to the Sugar Industry Labor Company. My name is Pamela Smith Abrams, and I'm from Zealot and I've been waiting 22 years for this process. Because you want to do um, your business and you don't have the title. So it was a lot of worry, uh, like stress. Well, I set my house in order. I have children and I'm going down. <laughs> so I'm very happy today to have received this title.
my name is Kumar Sami, living in Lap 13 Zilot. For the past 22 years now, now I received my title. It's been it's since 2000 now. When I started my house, I, I started you know, a little, little, it took me over two years to build it. I couldn't get a loan from the bank. So it was a challenge to me, you know. And now, if I need something, now, as I say, I can go in the bank now and take a loan. Or I'm very happy to have it. I want to say a special thanks to the two ministers, Anil and Nalal and Colin Cole, Minister of Housing. My, my name is Frank Yusuf. This is my wife, Ramde Yusuf. We have been waiting over 23 years for this title, and we are very happy that we have received it after 23 years. We are, we are very proud of what the government are doing for us. Many times we, we, when we was struggle, we just go to the bank. They always refuse me because they say you don't have a title. So, so we don't really need it now. We walk and, and now we right have that. two big children and we children are asked this week. So we never do nothing with it. We can put it up when they get it. Then we can see what they can do. Well, I'm Dave General Muzar. I'm Hayana Katrin. Well, today I received my title. I'm very much grateful to whoever participated in helping me. I'm grateful. I'm very, very happy. I'm so happy I even can describe it. And I thank this government very much for making it you know, possible. Because I never dreamed that it could be possible. I never, never imagined that a day like today could be available. And here I am you know, with good spirit now in life. I would like to thank the ministry and people, as I said, all we have all Thank you very much.